With the release of Detective Pikachu and the news of at least two more Pokemon movies on the way, we finally have some idea of what the Pokemon Cinematic Universe may be looking like and how it's shaped to be. So today, Simon and I are discussing our thoughts on what the future of this new cinematic universe may possibly look like, what we want to see, what we expect, everything. And so, we have Detective Pikachu to start us off, we have a spin-off Mewtwo movie, and we have a movie based on Pokemon Red and Blue on the way. Simon, tell me your thoughts on the future of the PCU. So, what I think is really going to happen in the PCU is I think there's going to be a focus on there's this detective movie that came out and I think there's going to slowly be movies that are going to come out for the more trainer side. Because this movie wasn't really a Pokemon trainer movie, you know? It wasn't like based off like what we do in the video games or what we see in the anime. It was straight up a detective like plot. So I, I think that the Red and Blue movie is going to be really the magnum opus for like this is what we want our live action Pokemon movies to be like based on trainer battles and the Pokemon trainer journey. And what I think would be really cool with it cool is if it's somehow they really mix these two movies into a future movie. So like Avengers kind of brought everything together. It'd be cool if the PC would introduce a movie that kind of brought it, brought it all together. Because like in so many games, I think um, I'm blanking out what game it was. I think it was the Gen Six games or Gen Five. I can't remember which gen it was. Looker the detective was a big part of those games in the story. So it is possible to really introduce the detective role with the Pokemon trainer role. And I think they might be doing those two separate lines so they can eventually merge into that one bigger plot that involves both parties. But those trainer movies I think is going to be huge because you can't really do this cinematic universe if you don't introduce really trainer based movies. They need to do that. Yeah, um, I feel like Looker could be similar to a Nick Fury type of role in the Pokemon uni cinematic universe where Looker <laughs> could be that. <laughs> the Avengers Initiative but for Pokemon. I mean, for real though. But like, Luca could be that guy that kind of just con connects and bridges all these movies together, and could be that one guy that's just in every game because Luca has that role in the games. He's in every single recent game in some way, shape, or form, mm -hmm. doing mm -hmm. his own thing and connecting everything together. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, so we could have that as a role for him. But I think that, and I agree with you. I think we need to start getting more into the, the to the actual trainer side of things. We had that a little bit, only a little bit in the very beginning of Detective Pikachu, especially when we had his friend, his friend being that guy, the, the taxi driver from the, from Deadpool, which is hilarious. <laughs> Wait, I didn't realize he was a taxi driver from Deadpool. Oh my God. Yeah, we had Brian Reynolds <laughs> and the taxi driver. This is just a Deadpool. This is just a Deadpool spin -off. movie disguised as Pokemon, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Oh yeah, that was him. So... Um, we had a little bit of that, and I, I, that's the one thing I want to say. I found that really awesome, the world building right there, that we already have uh, the idea of, oh yeah, people are leaving to start their own Pokemon adventure. Yeah, I'm glad that was Pokemon established, adventure. so we have something, a hint of it, like, hey, you could see this more in the future. Exactly, exactly. Um, but when it comes to the Pokemon Red and Blue movie and uh, the, the Mewtwo movie, I think these movies will have to be prequels, in my opinion. Um, just based on every, the way everything was set up, like Mewtwo, I think has to be a prequel because I think it's gonna be based off his uh, Kanto like, escape. Um, okay, yeah. Which makes sense because I'm not really sure what's gonna happen from this point on. Like, no, yeah, it wouldn't make sense know. if they'd really do it after the events of the second Pikachu. That wouldn't make sense at all. Yeah, exactly. And not to mention, um, you also have the point of Red and Blue. Red and Blue, that 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 those games or that story really went canonically around the same timeline. Of the whole Mewtwo era, so it makes sense if Red and Blue was also way in the future, past the Mewtwo movie. So I think you're right, and then both of them have to be very much set in the past. Yeah, exactly. And I feel like there could be a cool way to bridge everything, all these movies together with Mewtwo, maybe. Because if we that have could be the common based, link, yeah. Yeah, if we have a movie based on the escape of Mewtwo, and maybe just like, and having Mew there as well, maybe some just maybe like a loose live action adaptation of Mewtwo Strikes Back that'd be pretty cool but I also feel like maybe the end of Red and Blue as like a I don't know like a post credit scene or something where we see Red or whoever the main character will be uh, walk into Cerulean Cave and and encounter Mewtwo 
I think that'd be a really dope way to just to have that as like a maybe like a little post credit scene or something. Wait, you said in red and blue they encounter him? Yeah, in red and blue in the movie. Yeah, yeah, red okay. And blue. Yeah. yeah. That'd be cool if they do like follow the game where you do see Mr. Lillian Cave. That would be freaking awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so that'd be really cool to have that. But I feel like yeah, these movies would definitely have to be prequels if they want to work. No, yeah, no, yeah. They can't really happen afterwards. That wouldn't make sense if you're trying to bridge them all. The, the timing would completely be off. Also, I don't know if like you felt the same way, but I felt like Detective Pikachu also kind of looked very futuristic. I know Pokemon itself, the world of Pokemon, is futuristic, but the world of Detective Pikachu really did look very much like further in the future. The technology they had, especially like the thing that Clifford used to like show you what the car crash is like in Detective Pikachu. That looked very, very, very in the future. That's some high-level technology. So I think it would very much make sense and it would look appropriate if that movie was really based in the future. However, my question is, do you think that looking in, looking at how these movies will connect, do you think that... How do you think like Mewtwo will bridge them? Like, Where do you see really Mewtwo lying in all these? Like, If Red and Blue was a game or a movie that came out so far in the past, if you look in the future to make them all connect, Red and Blue are probably not going to be relevant anymore. They're probably going to be very older or just not Pokemon trainers. So how do you make that connection is really my concern. Oh, I don't know. I just feel like having that Mewtwo there would kind of just be like a confirmation that, yes, this is a shared universe. Similar to when The Incredible Hulk originally came out and we had Tony Stark show up at the end of that movie. That really yeah, that was a like confirmation. Oh, yeah. yeah, this is a cinematic universe. I feel like having Mewtwo there as the same character as he was in Detective Pikachu, but just earlier, would just have that confirmation that like, oh, yup, this is the same cinematic universe. This movie takes place in the same uh, timeline, the same yeah, the same universe, just different story. And that, and I think it'd be really cool if they have um, people call back to Red and Blue as like there were once two trainers who were the best in Kanto. Who had to face me too if they did something like that that would be a really nice way to rope it all in definitely definitely something that i also i just realized right now also i forgot to mention is that we also have a confirmation of detective pikachu 2. so that's gonna oh, so we have wait we, have we do three movies in the future coming out for this wait i don't know movies. about this it, it got confirmed yeah it, it was already greenlit before the movie came out i forgot to mention that and so oh, i'm confused that. because how <laughs> yeah exactly it like my biggest fear is they're not gonna connect these movies and they're just gonna have three separate kind of lines where red and blue is like the more trainer focused Mewtwo strikes back kind of is like the middle of like oh, we're trying to replicate the anime and like what we've done before and it's like the be to his own comedic this is the detective line my fear is they're gonna do that but it'd be really cool if they somehow bridge all three it's that i don't see that vision of how you can connect all three of them with Marvel, it's like it, it made more sense because everything was happening at a very similar time. Nothing seemed out of place, and nothing seemed like they couldn't come together. They all seemed like they very much lived in the same world. With this, we don't have that feeling yet. Well, we haven't seen the other movies, so that could change. But I just don't see how you can make that world connection really happen. That's my biggest fear right now that they're not going to make it connect. Right. Well, but. Here's my thing, is that how much connection do we need? Because I feel like having an Avengers type of film where all the characters, where we have Fred and Mewtwo and Detective Pikachu come in for one giant battle. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the most wild freaking battle. It doesn't be so like, for what? You know, like, what's the point? <laughs> no, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't understand, like, why, like, Tim would be, ha like, right next to Red facing the next threat along with Mewtwo. Like, what? <laughs> exactly um that's it. like i feel like the only way that that could possibly oof, possibly like could be a thing is if we have what was ha what was that um what was in pokemon emerald the battle frontier what about him like if we just have a type of like battle frontier or something where like we have like the top trainers coming in to um yeah to like to all face partake. each other yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and but we then had, how like, would you rope Detective Pikachu with that? Well, we saw in this movie Tim kind of like evolve from being, huh, evolve. We, Tim, <laughs> Tim, Tim changed from someone who was like really reluctant to like want to be a trainer. So at the end of the movie, I felt like he was so down for it. Like, I think he's so down to be a trainer now. 
And I feel like if we have a Detective Pikachu too, we can see him maybe start opening the path for that. I guess I don't know. I don't I'm know. really, I, I'm really think, reaching. <laughs> I, okay, so in my opinion, I think he's gonna stay a detective. And the way I, the only way I see it all connecting is honestly a Team Rocket situation. I think there needs to be an evil organization that does something that makes red and blue or whatever trainers are focusing these movies on to connect Detective Pikachu to face Team Rocket and have Tim being the investigator behind what's happening. Because like, I don't see Tim becoming a trainer. As much as it looks like he wants to become one still, I think, especially with the end of the movie, him saying, I think I'll give being a detective a try. And like both Ryan Reynolds, or AKA uh, Harry, <laughs> and Pikachu like agreeing to that it makes it seem like he's going to become a detective. So I think you need to include an evil organization or something greater threat like a Plasma, Galactic, any of those team names. Yeah, it's interesting, maybe an original one, and I think that will connect other thing. But something like a competitive nature, like a Battle Frontier or a Pokemon League, I, I can't see it all coming together with that, you know? So, question. So, obviously, the Team Rocket would have to be introduced in the Red and Blue movie. However, yeah. I'm asking you, what do you think, what's your opinion on what the plot should be? Should it be about Red getting the eight badges and becoming Pokemon Champion? Or should it, or should it focus on team rocket and him destroying tim rocket um from the ground up and ultimately facing giovanni see what i think it should be is i think it should be red's journey because i think the movie should focus very much on what it's like to be a pokemon trainer and succeeding and becoming champion and his journey there and i think team rock should be a huge role in that but i think what you can do is at the end of the movie like what marvel does you can hint at the revival of team rocket like with gen 2 you know how team rocket was still relevant and they were trying to revive themselves you can have that at the end of that Pokemon trainer movie as a hint of Team Rocket will be back, they are not dead. And then when you move forward to these detective movies, you have Team Rocket still relevant and you can have a new trainer and then it all connects there. But I, I don't think you should make the Pokemon Red movie about him just fighting Team Rocket. That would be cool and all, but well, I think everyone wants to see him become champion in his journey from beginning to end, not be getting to Saffron City. Okay, so you're here assuming that that there could already be a gold silver movie. <laughs> I think it could be that the gold silver movie is what places us maybe in the same timeline as Tech like Pikachu. That could be used in the future and Team Rocket is still relevant. That'd be a really cool way to make it connect because I don't see how red and blue can connect with the current timeline. But then again, like what you said, this is all a very big reach. This is just us really plucking at the small details and our knowledge of the Pokemon games to really make things work. <laughs> so none of this could easily happen too. What other Pokemon Maybe. property would you love to see adapted the same way that a game called Pokemon Detective Pikachu was? I think you know the answer to that. You gonna say Pokemon Ranger? You know it, baby. Pokemon <laughs> Ranger needs a movie. This most underrated Pokemon game. That shit slaps so hard. If this was a Pokemon Ranger movie, that'd be so cool. Cause oh my god, wait, dude. If they had a Pokemon Ranger, detective, and trainer all in one movie, can oh, that's the Avengers of Pokemon. That is the Avengers of Pokemon, dogs. And they have to face Arceus like a Thanos who's trying to wipe out half humanity. Oof. I'm with it. I'm so with it. You know, I, I can see that happening. Actually, like I actually am 100% on board with the idea that it could actually happen. Yeah, because that'd be so cool. You have different types of like Pokemon trainers or Pokemon, I guess, affiliated people. You have the detective, the, the ranger, the trainer. Like you have all three of them. Why not use each role and then have separate timelines that focus on those three roles and then every once in a while combine them like the Avengers. That'd be so cool to watch. So thank you for shouting out Ranger, I didn't even think about that. Pokemon Ranger movie happening, guys, I promise you it will happen. So, my, my, my hope is we have Pokemon Ranger, we have a Pokemon Detective, we have a Pokemon Trainer. You know, why not a, why not a Pokemon Photographer? And uh, we have uh, the GOAT. <laughs> Wait, did you say Pokemon what? A Pokemon <laughs> Photographer. <laughs> Okay, dude, <laughs> if you're trying to make Pokemon Snap a movie, <laughs> we have Todd, is, we have, we no, have Todd stop. Snap, Todd Snap, a professional stop, Pokemon stop. photographer. <laughs> who, what would Todd Snap do in a situation <laughs> where have to face Arceus or, I don't know, another legendary Pokemon? What is he possibly going to do? 
he's going to take photos and edit them. <laughs> everyone's everyone's out of Pokemon. They've all fainted. Todd, help us out. Hold on, wait. I got a really, really good shot right here. Dude. You guys want to know my Instagram handle? I only have a couple followers, but it's going to blow up any minute now. I know it. It makes so much sense, dude. So much. <laughs> also, wait, I'm so sorry. I also have another question for you. What? Do, what, what was your thought on that one shot when Tim was entering Rhyme City and he was watching a little film, right? Like, like a little introduction to the city. And we saw a character dressed very similar to Red. Was that red to you? Okay, so real quick, the music was that on that was amazing. I just want to put that out real quick. Rhyme City music was, whew, but I think that outfit was not supposed to be red, but I think it's supposed to resemble the hint at, hey, we acknowledge that Pokemon trainers are a real thing. Because I think that person was supposed to mimic, like, what I got from that is more like a Team Mystic, Valor, like the, the Pokemon Go guys. I got kind of that, like, feeling from it. But I think that was them trying to say, like, hey, we're aware the Pokemon trainers are a thing. And this are wink, wink, that there will be a future Pokemon trainer movie. Because that was a very Pokemon trainer outfit. But I don't think it was a red outfit. I feel that. I, feel, I, I heard a lot of conversations happening on Reddit saying that that was red. But to me, I'm kind of with you that maybe it was just more like a generic trainer. And it was just like a little Easter egg, a little hint. Or like, just like a little, like, yeah, just a little, like, fun for the fans. Like, oh, yeah, this is a guy that looks just like red. Or something like that. Exactly. Uh, no, yeah, that's I, like how I feel. I, I think it was just a trainer look. I really doubt that was red, or that would have been a really weird cameo. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. But when it comes to other uh, Pokemon spinoffs that I would love to see having like an adaptation, oh my god, I feel like Pokemon Coliseum would be so cool. A, the, a replica of that? Pokemon Coliseum, I feel like it would be so cool, and I feel like, to me at least, actually to me, and I feel like having, and I know this will never happen, but having a, mo a movie where we only focus on the Pokemon would be really cool. And I feel like the best way to do that is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. But, oof. That's a reach. I, it is a reach. Like a movie but, like that. but to be honest, having a Pokemon Detective Pikachu movie was a complete reach. If someone were, if you were to tell me this three That's years true, ago. Yeah, I would have laughed at your yo, face. I'm like, yo, there's going to be a live action adaptation of Pokemon Detective Pikachu. I would have been like, get the... Yo, get the... Get away from me, bro! <laughs> it happened. Here we are. It actually happened. And so I'm really <laughs> surprised. I'm really shocked as to what else we can get. And the fact that we're having an adaptation of Mewtwo as well. Like, honestly, as of right now, the sky is the limit. And all I'm happy about is that we have people that really care about the source material. No, yeah. It seems like they're really trying to make sure they don't break away from the main lore of Pokemon. And I think that's the, what that's what matters the most, honestly, right now. Yeah, exactly. We just have people that really care about the Pokemon games and really care about what the fans think. Because as of right now, we have a very solid first movie. And the, what mattered most was that people, the fans, were on board. And majority of people watching this movie were fans of the movie. No, yeah. So I, it definitely appealed to those. And I think they're going to keep appealing to those people with the movies move forward. Exactly. If they don't, I don't see us being successful, to be quite honest. Exactly. But now, next, next for the next movie, and I feel like the next movie should hopefully be Red and Blue, not the Mewtwo one. I think it needs to be Red and Blue and really make the next movie the, the main Pokemon movie. Like, yo, this the, the is The thing hard is, like, if you make it Red and Blue, how do you make it general? Because Red and Blue, I feel like it's going to tailor really to that, that cancel journey that we all had when we started this game. I don't know how they can make it general, you know? That's going to be really hard. Well, yeah, but, but I do like, understand what you mean is that they need to really introduce a wider fan, I mean, a wider fan, fan base. But you see, Tim Goodman, as the protagonist of Detective Pikachu, he was someone that already knew everything about Pokemon. He knew he knew all of Pikachu's attacks already. Like, he knew mm -hmm. uh, he didn't want to be a trainer. He knew he wanted to be an accountant or whatever he was. Like, but... <sighs> But having Red as a main character, we see his upbringing, we see him get his first Pokemon, we see him get his team, his first badge. Um, I just feel like having a character that we can journey with, and not someone who already had that journey, or at least okay, or used mean, that yeah. journey, it would make it a lot easier for casual people. Like, oh yeah, someone, someone that like, 
is learning the ropes so the audience can also learn with them and be like oh so this is the pokemon world i kind of get that exactly plus having let's say red in the movie uh, is going on his journey he sees caterpie and he's like whoa what's that he takes out his pokedex 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 tells us the fans or tells the audience this is this is caterpie this is what he does blah, 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 blah. no yeah way easier to understand for a casual movie goer and i feel like that needs to be our next next movie i don't think i don't think we should be going to, to another um quote spinoff unquote movie with mewtwo i think we need to get like no, yeah. a main series movie right I feel now that. i completely feel that no yeah. yeah we need to really open it more to general but until then i think it's a success and i think they definitely have you know lots moving forward and i think it's definitely gonna be a success moving forward if they keep this pace up yeah exactly exactly but yeah, uh, that's my thought. At least I don't. I don't think I have any other opinions yeah, when it I'm, comes I'm to the done future. Too. It's no, super no, no, early to say. <laughs> very, very. A lot of our theories could easily be wrong, but it's nice to put them out there, and hopefully, we'll we'll learn more as as news come out. And when they do, we'll gladly report them on here and have a conversation with you guys, our fellow listeners. But uh, yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. Thank you so much, guys, for listening and our thoughts on the future of the Pokemon Cinematic Universe. Uh, let us know in the comments below what you, what you think. If you want to see more more episodes just like this, then hey, definitely subscribe because we're going to be posting a lot more videos just like this. Uh, until next time, see you guys. Bye, guys.